From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your top stories at this hour. Florida will no longer participate in a federal program that sends unaccompanied migrant kids to Florida. This is according to a letter from Governor Ron DeSantis to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, exclusively obtained by our art team. The state's letter is a direct response to a federal inquiry to Florida's Department of Children and Families. At the time, the feds were investigating a series of confusing new licensing rules DCF adopted. They had to do with shelters that temporarily house unaccompanied children who arrive here through the Office of Refugee Re Resettlement. In the governor's response, DeSantis officially tells the feds Florida will no longer participate in this, quote, highly flawed program. The FWC releasing new details about that tiger attack at the Naples Zoo. Last month, police say a third party employee went near the tiger enclosure when the tiger bit his arm, not letting go until police fatally shot the animal. The FWC saying that man apparently smelled like alcohol. That's according to an ER nurse who intubated him. The report also states there were no violations as it relates to the zoo. And that worker, who was a cleaner, was not supposed to be near that tiger enclosure. He apparently jumped over a barrier to get closer to the tiger, and the report claims put his hand in the cage. A Hillsborough County deputy who lost her life is being honored. The sheriff's office escorted the body of Deputy Abigail Bieber from St. Augustine to Clearwater. Investigators say a fellow deputy who was dating Bieber killed her in an apparent murder-suicide. The motorcade took Interstate 75 to I-275 from St. John's County to Hillsborough County. The sheriff said today he is heartbroken. Investigators are still looking into Deputy Bieber's death. And now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with Florida's most accurate forecast. Dennis. How you doing, everybody? What a beautiful day today. Temperatures upper 70s to low 80s and tomorrow even warmer up near some record breaking highs possible Thursday and again on Friday before our next front rolls in Friday night and into Saturday. So sunny skies expected up until Saturday morning. Then at that point we could see some scattered showers roll through the front then kind of stalls out. And this forecast is sort of tricky right now because wherever that front stalls north of it, it's going to be cooler. So if it stalls around maybe I four, if you live in Pasco, Hernando, Citrus, Sumter, you will be much cooler. If it stalls more to the south, then most of our area will see some cooler air. So we're probably another 24 hours out from seeing exactly where that's going to happen. And that's going to have a big impact on your weekend plans. Obviously around the front will be a better chance of a few showers. At this point, we only have about a 30% chance of showers, and I think it'll be overnight Friday night into Saturday. Then maybe some lingering clouds off and on and with another chance of rain by the middle of next week.